Hey foodies, I'm going to show you how to make a pasta sauce, a really easy pasta sauce. And one of the best things about making your own is you get to choose what you put in it. And if you're like me, I have some dietary restrictions so I can only have certain things. So we're going to get started with the basics and that's tomatoes and I've got about a liter and a half of tomatoes or about 12 to 14 Roma tomatoes and I've got some basil and that's just a couple couple sprigs of it I've got some thyme I've got some hot peppers and I've got some green onions you can also use the equivalent of one onion for this and some garlic skate pesto you can use garlic and the basic recipe is tomato onion and garlic and whatever herbs you've got in your garden or in your drawer and if you don't have herbs that's okay too you can just have a plain tomato and garlic and onion sauce and it's going to be wonderful the kids will love it so let's get started so i'm going to start by putting some olive oil into my pot And I'm gonna let that heat up just for a couple minutes. Okay, so that's hot. I'm gonna start by cooking down my, my tomatoes. Listen to that sizzle. You don't have to use Roma tomatoes. I used a little bit of yellow cherry tomatoes and I used some Castelluto tomatoes and Roma tomatoes. I just used whatever I had around my garden and it can be whatever you find at the store as well. Now at this point, you want your tomatoes to sweat a little bit, and by getting them to sweat, you're going to use a little bit of salt. It smells good already. So while that's doing that, I'm going to start taking the leaves off of my thyme. Now I'm going to put in just a little bit of the hot pepper. This is a cayenne pepper that I got from my garden. I don't want to use all of it. I don't want to fry my, my, my mouth off. So I'm just going to put just a little bit in. You can always add more. You can't take it out. Now I'm going to add my thyme and my basil. And my onions. And that might look like a lot of green onions, but it'll all cook right down. And then I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of garlic scape pesto, which will be about the same as about two cloves of garlic. Now it's really smelling good. Look at that, in as little as about five minutes, it's boiled down and it looks amazing. I'm so, and it smells so good, but the one way to tell if it's a good pasta or not is you have to try it. So I'm just gonna try a little bit and we can see if it needs seasoning or any other flavors. Oh, it's really good. It needs a bit of wine because nothing is better than having a little bit of wine in your pasta. And I'm gonna put about a quarter cup in. And that'll probably bring out a little bit of sweetness in the pasta sauce. Oh, yeah, you can smell so many more flavors. You can really smell the umami and in the, in the tomato sauce. It's really, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna call that done. I'm gonna make up some noodles and we're gonna give it a try and see what it's like. Look at that pasta. 
pasta with a nice tomato sauce. If you're looking for the ravioli recipe, you can click the link here or see in the description below. I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano on it. And I'm gonna give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. That tomato sauce is so flavorful. It's really, really yummy. I think you're gonna love it. I look forward to reading all of your comments in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.